Hi, I'm Tara Uzra Daud, CEO of Daud Capital Management, managers of Ladies Fund, and of course partners with CIO Pakistan for many of our events, including our recent third Ladies Fund Women's Awards. Dao Capital Management is an asset management company that manages the money of individuals as well as corporates. We're currently giving 18% return in our income fund. And in terms of helping the community, we have a baby fund, children's trust fund, as well as ladies fund, women's trust funds, to help facilitate financial growth and security for women. We have also started in 2008, on March 8, 2008 to be exact, Ladies Fund Women's Entrepreneurship Awards. And this was Pakistan's first awards for women. We are really delighted to continue this tradition annually and this year celebrate the third Ladies Fund Women's Awards, which have now grown to include not only entrepreneurship prizes, but a nationally voted Woman of the Year, as well as scholarships, fellowships, and a donation to Citizens Foundation. So the challenges we faced initially was setting up a structure, but to be very honest, it was pure pleasure being able to provide this forum and we had the help of so many in making it happen. This time around, because we expanded to scholarships and fellowships, as well as had our category Woman of the Year be a national vote, it was interesting developing those processes while building upon the pillars of our previous awards set up and structure. So that was a lot of fun for us. Ladies Fun has provided a platform for recognition and celebration of women achievement, which has been a, served a very important role in Pakistan where many women do, are the unsung heroes of the country. So this has been an incredible opportunity and journey. And as we've aligned with many other partners, we've worked with the community to expand this vision. And this past year, we had the Ladies Fund Entrepreneurship Conference 2010 in September with Avari and CIO Pakistan as a partner. That project um, catered to 700 people attending. And that conference also catered to mid-career entrepreneurs and students. Then we expanded the platform further in January. On January 8th, we held Pakistan's very first networking professional women's lunch. That was Ladies Fund Women of Influence luncheon series with the British High Commission in which we had different working women and women leaders of organizations as well as a few key entrepreneurs come together and meet each other, get to know one another and hear our chief guest extraordinaire uh, Nasreen Jalil who instead of a speech was interviewed by our special guest Dr. Ishith Hussain and in the spirit of women empowerment at any time could take control of the interview herself. This wonderful experience allowed and facilitated the meeting of various individual working women in all different sectors. At the same occasion, we launched Ladies Fund Magazine, Pakistan's first magazine for working women and entrepreneurs. Now we have the third awards, which has been incredible as well because we've expanded from awards to scholarships and fellowships. So not only are we recognizing the achievement of some women, we are facilitating and fostering the development of others to be achievers as well. This year's awards were filled with so many highlights. Not only did we have Woman of the Year announced live on stage, where not even a single one of us knew who was going to be in that special sealed envelope. And of course, the Pakistan women's cricket team were the winners this year. But we also had the pleasure and um, honor of meeting Ms. Naseem Hamid, who was the fastest runner in South Asia and this year's idol winner. And being in the presence of her, while at the same time, Professor Anita Ghulam Ali, who was chief guest along with the eminence Shafqat Sultana, who is president of First Moon Bank, was a great honor to us. Our other winners this year included Rahana Hakim for Momentum Prize winner. Our chief guest, Professor Anita Ghulam Ali, was awarded Lifetime Achievement Award. And now she is working towards partnering with us as well in our fellowship and scholarship development, along with Dr. Javed Lagari, chairman of the Higher Education Commission, who'd flown down from Islamabad for this event and had been helping us throughout the year in putting this together, as well as serving as a juror. At the same time, we had so many partners and sponsors, and we also recognize, including Espresso, 
which had gifted us this wonderful coffee bar for the experience. And we had a special young entrepreneur in the spotlight, which this year was Shella Karai, who debuted her Blue Rain Salon and its product lines at our event. And we were very honored to be able to serve as a platform for small SMEs and young women in, in various sectors to be a promotion for their debut and marketing in Pakistan and give them access to our entire network as well. So that was a great experience and journey for us and we look forward to partnering with more people as well. Our Idol Award winner this year was Naseem Hamid, who not only is the fastest runner in South Asia, a great inspiration for all of us, but she's truly an ambassador for Pakistan. When we asked her, what do you think about when you're competing and when you're running, all she could say is Pakistan. I think of Pakistan first and myself second. And she meant it from all her heart. As today, she's already teaching young students in running. And further, her dream of starting a sports school will, inshallah, become a reality. And we're really excited that our platform of Ladies Fund can serve to help make that happen. Not only was she given a 50,000 rupee anonymous donation, she was given three joras from this event from Threads and Motors, Sanya Maskatia, and Aisha F. Hashwani. Shoes from Azme Shazada, a 55,000 rupee C7 phone from Nokia, our own Ladies Fund certificates, and so many, so many more prizes and awards and of course her Ladies Fund plaque. We are also fixing her with, a, pairing her with a mentor, CEO, sister, as well as giving her opportunities for meeting with our network and other potential sponsors and potentially a loan to start her school. So it's a very, very exciting experience for us to be a part of her journey as she had competed for this award and won it hands down. As we build upon this platform, I think the development will not be in more award categories because we're very satisfied with the five we have, but instead there'll be more fellowships and scholarships as more and more people wish to partner with us and we're very grateful for that. And together we will have impact on the lives of individuals, particularly at the grassroots level, by providing them with opportunities. Should you wish to either partner with us to make more and more people's dreams come true, or should you wish to apply for one of our fellowships and scholarships, please do contact us at ladiesfund, L-A-D-I-E-S-F-U-N-D, at edow.com.